your thoughts of death? What do you what do you think happens after you pass on? Well, I think I've got a rough idea of the initial stages of that, and perhaps I will go through a tunnel, meet up with dead relatives, and be really happy or pain or pain free and blissful. Um, I might have um the negative or the the distressing kind of near death experiences as well you know because some not all of them are pleasant some of them can be really quite distressing and um unpleasant so there could be that there could be like that void experience of just complete blackness um and we can describe this void as being eternal boredom as well just kind of being in that eternal boredom state so i don't know but i think the fact that I've done this research into near-death experiences will help me to recognize the different stages. Then what perhaps is beyond those stages, I really don't know until it happens at my own death. But I think an interesting thing as well is um, lucid dreams and how if you were able to have control over your dreams or, or to train your mind in a way to control your dreams, um, then we might have some initial control over the initial stage of our death as well. So um, that's an interesting thing because I'm doing a conference with um, Lucid Dreamers in ne in the Netherlands in June of this year. And um, that's an interesting conference. And I'm looking forward to that, to meeting up with people who do Lucid Dreaming as well, because I think that can give us some degree of control, I think, as we do pass.